Now I know what you're thinking. Triff, who wants to see a stunt mirror match? Well, you will, because I'm playing Clee Forts, baby! Clee Forts, return to the channel! Triff Gaming vs. M. Cole 40, stun vs. stun, Clee Fort vs. Dragoon. Who's a better boss monster? Clee Fort Scout or a little, little baby Dragoon? Well, we'll see about that. If you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. We almost have 50,000 subscribers, and when we have 50,000 subscribers, Trip Fitness will return, baby. So smash the subscribe button. Also, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. With that being said, boys, it's time. Robbie, MK40, bring out your stun deck, baby. It is time for Clee Force to show you who the real best stun deck is. Let's go, boys, it's time. MK40, I hope you're ready, bro. Pendulum stun versus real stun. Let's go. <laughs> Before we start this video, don't forget to go to TriffGaming.com, the sponsor of today's video. So go check it out, get this beautiful Joker Kieran Double Iris playmat that looks like the Avengers. Go do that right now, because you should. And my boy Robbie, you guys gotta go check him out, show him some love on his channel in the link below. All right, anyways, let's get started on this video. The deck that I'll be using, as I said, is Cleeforts, but it's not just any Cleeforts. It is Cleeforts stun, baby. A bunch of traps, how this deck should be played. And one thing I want to mention before I hop onto the duel, that we are going to be facing off against Robbie, who's also playing a stun deck. It might seem boring to some of you guys who just want action, action, fast, 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 negate, negate, negate summon, summon. But you know what? That's what 99% of my other videos are for. So enjoy the duels here. It's going to be long duels, but they're going to be very fun to watch. Another thing I want to mention before we get started is that I truly think that Sacrifice sucks. Uh, this is the deck that I used to duel against Robbie. After I dueled Robbie, I had five other duels afterwards that I tweaked this deck slightly. So this is the deck I'm using against Robbie. But I'm telling you guys, cut sacrifice even to zero or to one maximum. The card sucks. I would prefer it to be a third helix, a third carrier, a third anything. And also, I think disc is way better than stealth. I cut stealth completely for three discs in my other list because disc is so insane. Uh, this is how you get all your offense going, by summoning out a disc, and uh, that's why you only play one sacrifice, so you can just do it with disc, and you bring out infinity. So, th th that's the only uh, mentions I could think of. There are a few other small changes, uh, like adding extra Nova infinities because of extra, some other changes as well, uh, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Anyways, let's get started on the duel now. Uh, Clay Forts versus Robbie's stun. Let's go. Robbie's known for his stun decks, but we'll see how it performs against... Uh, the a stun deck of the best deck. So here we're gonna uh, start off with three traps and two and, and summoners are in a sacrifice. This just goes to show how the sacrifice really is just not that good. You need other cards with it, and then not just one. Like uh, a, a going carrier and equipping a, a sacrifice to the carrier doesn't actually do anything. So here we can't summoners are because of T King, but that's fine. I have a bunch of traps. I don't want to set everything in case he has a feather duster. I go punishment to pop that, pop a ring of destruction. I meant to put this here, I told him, because I'm playing Pendulum, jaw, jaw, jaw. I go Cleeport Scout here, and I'm gonna add, and that, that's all I really needed. Here, I could have a few plays. It goes Summoner's Right into Monolith, but then what's that gonna do for me? That doesn't even do anything. Sacrifice, again, like I said, is just not that good. Imagine this was any other card. I could have Helix, pop a card, have a card on the field, so I, I'm just not a fan of it at all. I go Helix here, and he goes for a Solemn Morning, because he knows I'm gonna be able to pop one of his stuff. I mean, okay, that's fine. What am I going to do here? I'm not, this is a, just goes to show the sacrifice is not the best. And especially in a deck that plays 20 hit traps like I do, uh, sometimes you have no space for a sacrifice to even be played. So I go summoners right here for Monolith. I uh, Pendulum Summon 1. I don't want to go too much. I don't want to put too much stuff on. Like this would be a good scenario for sacrifice, but I have no space. And even then, sacrifice should be enough, any other Cleeford card, which is way better. So if I had another carrier or another, if I, if I had another Helix, I could tribute disc and trigger all my Cleeforts. And then this goes something out. But anyways, regardless, I don't want to overextend too much because he has traps. But I'm like, you know what? So let's just summon out disc because this will pop a trap. So at least I could get one card off. So I go Ice Prison to get the Thunder King. And then uh, he, lives, he uh, keeps the Helix on board. I should have go. it's fine. I don't know why I went Crackdown here. But I went Crackdown with the assumption that I could do so much damage. And then XYZ, my, my two, the two Helixes. And then uh, he goes Solemn Judgment, which is fine for me. 
I summon out Disc with the intention for this to pop, and then Torrential just destroys everything. I'm like, damn it. Uh, and that's fine. So we're going to go on to his turn. Uh, so I drew one for Monolith. He draws Torrential and Dino Wrestler. And if you look at my hand, there's just no way I could lose this one. Uh, he, he ends up scooping. Uh, I, w I would have probably st stayed one turn for Robbie, but it, it, yeah, he couldn't have won that one. So here, he opens really bad. He opens Doom Cal, double, he was playing a weird stun deck, double Cyber Dragon, one Tone Twister, one Ring of Destruction. So pretty weird here, but I open all traps, so I can't really do much, and that's fine. This is the type of deck that Cleaforts are. You just want to take advantage of your Cleaforts Scout, get as much plus as you possibly can, and then you just set a bunch of cards, and then you, you kill them on the following turn. But you should also never be, you can never set more than three. You can only set three because you want to be able to pen play with your scales. If any, you can put set four if you know you're not going to use it. And now on his turn, there's something horrible happened. He drew Red Eyes Fusion! My deck loses the one Dragoon. I have no outs to Dragoon. So Dragoon absolutely, positively destroys Cleaforts. My only outs, I have two Ice Person and I have two Trap Trick. And I... Don't know he has the Red Eyes Fusion. I have no idea he's playing this version. He goes Twin Twister first, and then I go, okay, I'll chain Trap Trick to set Ice Prison, and I pop the Doom Cal, and I'll pop this with the Prison, and I'm going to set Storm Duster, because my assumption here is that he's just going to set more, more traps. Little do I know, he has a Red Eyes Fusion, which I wasn't revealed in the last duel. Then he's just going to go ahead and activate the Red Eyes Fusion. I'm like, oh my god. Ah. Uh, Ah, this is really bad, man. But what could you do, bro? Honestly, what could you do? So here, he's going to negate my scout. I'm like, I really regret using... Well, I, I don't know. I don't. In fact, I cited out Ice Prison. I didn't know he was playing Dragoon. I thought he was playing a different version of like Thunder King and uh, Ice Barrier... Not Ice Barrier, Barrier Statues and that version of Stun. So here, I realized that there's nothing I can do to win. He's going to attack for game next turn. And I'm like... GG, we're at the game three now, so we're gonna see how this goes. I open pretty good. Uh, I set three. I, I, there's no reason to even normal the helix. I don't gain anything. If I wanted to, I could normal the helix and activate demise, but I don't gain anything again. I go. He goes to a twister. I trap trick into an ice prison in case he drew the red ice fusion, which he did. And then he goes into the, He's playing gores. I actually cannot believe that I lost game two to to uh, Robbie. Robbie, come on, man. <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong, but Dragoon just destroys my deck. He goes Dragoon again, and I, I'm contemplating killing myself because Dragoon uh, is... <laughs> I can't do anything to Dragoon, bro! Uh, I have the Ice Person here. He attacks for 3,000. I can't use Ice Person. He'll just negate it. He sets a card. I'm like, okay, this is good. This is good. He has one card in hand. He's going to negate my Pot of Extravagance, and then I'm just going to Ice Person. Is what I. Hope. Well, he knows I have Ice Person, so he's not going to do it. But I need to draw something good off Extravagance. I draw uh, nothing. I, I add a Skill Drain in there as well. Maybe another Ice Present, and then it just didn't work out there. I set two. He goes Stratos. This is a very interesting list that he's playing. Stratos for like a plus every turn. And then he attacks him at 200. And I'm like, man, I need something really good here. So the only saving grace I have here, I scale Helix. and I summon place Helix, and I scale Scout. And then I'm going to activate Demise in the hopes that I draw some way to out the Dragoon or for him to negate the Dragoon. Of course, he doesn't negate it. I don't have any way to stop the actual Dragoon. So I kill this, I Ice Prison, of course he's gonna negate it. I try to bluff that I have two Ice Prison set so he doesn't waste a card in his hand. And then he negates it, obviously, and then I lose. I cannot believe we lost, but you know what? Cleave for it, uh, cannot out Dragoon. So what did I do? I, I changed the list a little bit in order to ensure that it could stop Dragoon. And uh, man, it's, what, what could you do? What could you do? We lost to Dragoon, it's a little sad, but Hey, Robbie, GG's, bro. Robbie beat us, and you know what? We're not going to sit there and cry about it. We're going to take it like a man. I do think that this Cleaver deck has a lot of potential, especially against actual like combo decks because you're able to play 20 trap cards and control them with the Cleaver Scout. And because of Pot of Prosperity, uh, as well as the Extravagance, you're going to draw into and Summoner's Art. You're going to draw into the Scout every single turn. You're going to draw, you're going to search with it every single turn, every single turn, and then you're going to slowly control their field with Carrier and Helix popping stuff one by one, and then Disc for the kill to summon out uh, two level fives to go for Infinity, or two level sixes to go for any of the good level sixes like Utopia Beyond, M7 to get a plus one, and then you go into Zeus to clear everything else. So it's actually a really cool deck. Unfortunately, there is a glaring hole with this deck, and that is Dragoon. So I did fix it in my new list. I'm posting the new list on my Patreon if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but give or take, it's essentially more Ice Prisons and more Trap Tricks. 
to make sure that we can actually beat the Dragoon. And I also changed the extra deck a little bit to ensure that there's uh, more ways to summon a Nova Infinity with Disc. Because Disc should be the main like priority uh, offensively. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pleasure to make this video. Shout out to my boy Robbie. We're going to be shooting two more videos with Robbie. That you guys are going to like to see. One of them is a Gadget Mirror Match. Gadget Pendulums versus Gadget Traps. You guys are going to want to check that out. And also on Robbie's channel, we're going to be doing a very cool discussion about the fan list. So you guys can expect those in the future. Before we end this off this video, you guys can't forget, go to TripGaming.com. Because TripGaming.com has the best playmates in the game. And then that, that's it. Man. You just got to get it. You just got to get your match. Because that's what Robbie would want. So you guys are going to go get your match. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!